Hey, this is Aura doing my first achievement guide commentary for the Speedreader and That Just Happened achievements in Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary. Uh, as you can see from the menu, I'm using the bandana skull, so I have infinite ammo and grenades, and that helps a lot for this mission and these two achievements. And uh, yeah, I'll try and provide some advice as I go and see if I can make some fun out of it. As you can see, uh, I'm doing a little trick known as a flood bump here, where you get a carrier to drop and you jump at just the right time to get on this wall. And by doing that, the, uh, the flood in the next area after you exit the index chamber won't spawn at all, so you can just run through this little tunnel here, throw a grenade, uh, and just go, and in the next area there won't be anything left, so... You can just wait at the door and just wait for Spark to do this thing. Just a random grenade for no particular reason. You have to be careful of your own grenades sometimes because they'll chain react with other grenades and you'll see that in this video later on just shoot spark there just to prove a point for no reason. But uh, yeah, you'll have uh, five or six, anywhere between four to six, I can't remember the exact number, but this is number one of these uh, gate areas that you need to get through. Uh, in there is the first shotgun flood, if you do the shield, uh, not shield bump, flood bump. Uh, yeah, the first flood of a shotgun. And as you can see, I'm just spamming nades at everything, because that's sort of an easy way to approach this now. But I'm, at the moment, I'm looking for the shotgun, and I'm sort of wondering where it was, and I wasn't aware that um, the carrier had blasted it, blasted it all the way, like, to here, right in front of me. So, that, they have that. Like, your grenades and the carriers have that just unfortunate ability to just knock, like, your important weapons and stuff away. But once you get the shotgun, you don't really need to switch for anything else. Because of the infinite ammo and the fact that it's, like, your best option to do with the flood. And this bit here, I got really lucky, because I only just barely got the overshield. I wouldn't recommend, like, playing as recklessly as I was here. Because it's you're likely gonna die. You you need to play it safe and fast. It it doesn't come naturally to some people, but to others it does. Like they can just go and it's like yeah, no, no sweat. Around this bed, around that bend, there's some flood in that corridor, so um, grenade them. And there's also a carrier, a combat form that come out from that little vent there. If you uh, jump up onto these little raised little platform things, you can bypass the carriers instead of just running straight around and getting blown up in the face. A lot of the time, from Guilty Spark, all I hear is blah 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 blah. Because it's just, I'm talking about some random thing, I'm gonna leave you now. And you're like, oh, okay, when are you gonna be back? like a minute or more passes and you're like, took your sweet time. Spark obviously has a lot of time on his hands because, you know, he's just been waiting like for like 10,000 years. <laughs> and I like these little mid-level uh, sort of checkpoint name things. It's like, wait, it gets worse. And it's, it's, it's so apt to this situation, it does get worse. <laughs> it's not a good thing, but you know, you can't help but sort of find some humor in it. You can uh, kill the carrier forms here, but don't move up past that next little blue arrow on the ground because that causes the carrier forms, not carrier, combat forms to start spawning out of that little vent next to that blue arrow closest to the door. So if you wait in here, you can grab that help, that health pack I just got and uh, spam some nades overhead to a uh, 
try and clear stuff out. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. The thing with this is, since there's little health and you're trying to not die, like, I wouldn't recommend doing both achievements in the one run like I've done here. And this is just for video purposes and, you know, just, like, get this guide out. Even though it's, like, probably a week late, which is unfortunate. I should have gone onto it earlier, but I didn't have editing software earlier. And this is another thing to note, like, with speedreader, say you got a checkpoint at the 2 minute, not 2 minute, 22 minute mark, well, we can go far along, and you die at the uh, 23 minute mark, when you revert to your last save, it's going to be 22 minutes again, like, you're not going to be penalised time-wise, like, you know, and, and I've taken the sort of outside, yet inner, route to the large room. This way you can just completely bypass all the uh, flood in that uh, main chamber. Just some celebratory meleeing for no reason. You can use a grenade jump here, but it's not necessary. Although you'll just have to fight some infection forms if you don't use it. And just grenade those uh, combat forms there. And the infection forms, yeah, they'll come through, so you might as well grenade them as well, or shoot them. Watch out for carriers, though, that's one thing. Like, they have the inane sort of ability. Like, you, you've thrown a grenade at one, but you, and it's say died and it's set off another one and you're throwing another gray grenade for example and that second carrier happens to blow up just when your grenade is flying overhead and it could just come straight back at you and you'd be surprised how often something like that happens it's a real pain in the ass This is another one of those sort of areas where you, you just feel like the flood aren't gonna stop coming, but there are no true infinite uh, flood spawns. And as you can see, I was trying to grenade the carriers up there, but I was sort of failing kind of miserably. But, uh, yeah, once it's all clear, yeah, pretty sweet. These little, uh, well, it's hard to describe the shape, but it's like corridor, intersection, corridor. These little areas are notorious for the seemingly never-ending amounts of flood. And this, right up ahead, that's one of the main cruxes of the mission. Like, you have... That rocket flood right ahead and about six or seven carrier forms. And there's also to the point like uh, I needed to backtrack here. Backtrack. Cause I was getting damaged a bit too much and I didn't want to die. Like I said earlier in the video, you should know your flood spawns, know what know what spawns where and stuff so you can um, anticipate it. Especially the shotgun floods spawns, because as you see a bit further ahead, they have uncanny range. And I wasn't expecting that, like, one carrier just happened to send a second carrier straight at my feet. And that was really unfortunate it's that I lost at least half my health there, but... You know, that that's your luck, basically, on these runs.
But I don't want to ride the elevator, of course I don't. I know where it leads. It leads to more flood. You think, Spark? You think? <laughs> yeah, you want to keep your distance from shotgun flood at all times. Miss Sentinels, although you'd think they'd be a decent amount of help, then not really. Like, half the time they'll only be good for uh, killing the infection forms, but if everything else are pretty lackluster. And the pistol is actually surprisingly effective against Flood. You wouldn't think it is, but it's better than the um, AR, for example. The only downside is it's hard to be accurate with it in like a real close-up situation. And up ahead, there'll be uh, two carrier forms, or three. No, uh, yeah, three. And that's like, still knowing your spawns, make sure when you get to that point that you duck out just enough to get their attention, but then you immediately back off so they don't explode in your face. Because that would be bad and you'd probably die. But since you're on legendary, you can take a. Uh, Explosive damage a bit better than, say, easy. If you're feeling adventurous, you could always um, run straight through this area whilst there are still like a fair few sentinels, like all of them, preferably. That way, the flood will be more preoccupied with them generally. But there's always that off chance that they're going to be like. You know, we don't need to fight the Sentinels. There's that green guy. Well, let's just kill him instead, you know? It's just... That's just how the cookie crumbles. sort of areas, just wait till everything's dead, otherwise spam grenades. For example, like, yeah, just not dead grenade. And here me, here's me, sort of, still failing trying to clear out carriers. Some, I, I need to aim higher, I'll admit. I, that's one of those sort of things. I have a tendency to always sort of look down. It's like maybe a 10 degree or so angle down instead of looking up. Not in real life, just in the game. You gotta watch out for those Needler Flood too, because they're pretty accurate. And speaking of the Needler back there that was stuck in the, uh, the, uh, wall, so to speak. That's a thing that has to do with the uh, new texture mapping over the old map files. I don't, I don't know how it's getting stuck, because it shouldn't be the textures are just textures, they're not actually the collision models level. They're, they're put on the collision models, but with uh, remastered mode, if you've actually done any adventuring and gotten out of the map, you can see a lot of the new textures are quite like, they're much... What's the word I'm looking for? They are sort of the, the larger. Like in classic mode, what you saw and what you hit was what you got. But now you can literally walk through walls, or 
well, not really, but you know, you can sort of pass into the texturing on some walls and stuff, so you can see the bear map on the outside. Uh, here, there is a rocket flood, the one on the left that I just killed. Uh, you got to be careful for rocket flood because they're devastating and legendary, so you have to be preemptive. There's only like two or three all up. The first one with the six or seven carriers that was earlier on in this video that you saw. And that second one there. It's the one. Nah. I was sort of wishing, like, I could have at least stuck one of them, you know, because sticking something was... probably should have mentioned earlier on there that when I was getting shot at by that shotgun flood you could clearly see how much damage he's able to do just from that distance you know they're insanely accurate that was one of the uh, examples I was sort of referring to referring to earlier but generally if they have a shotgun in their hand but they're not charging you they're generally fair game to shoot in the face And that was sort of an example of what I was saying, also saying earlier about the uh, chain explosions being pretty uh, dangerous. Like one grenade can set off like an entire room if you're unlucky enough. And you can always keep running through these areas, but generally it's easier to kill all the flood coming out first. One thing with the uh, the flood, when they are, uh, say for ex weapons like the uh, plasma pistol, not so much just with the flood, just in general, the plasma pistol is actually very devastating if you just single fire instead of using the overcharge. Well, plasma pistol peppering, as it uh, is called. Hello, he says. Sparks are only really good for banter, if anything. It's just irritating, otherwise. It's just that sort of element of you're not entirely alone in this place, but that doesn't exactly make you feel any better. He says that, but it still takes about a minute and 30 seconds or so, a minute and a half for him to actually get his act together and deactivate it. Like, if you stay in these little corners here, the, uh, the flood will just leave you alone at least and you can do your own thing. So sort of adding insult to injury, you can, you can tell Sparks on the other side and he's just taking his sweet time again. Just hear him humming away or randomly laughing and it's like, hurry up, because 
even though it's only a minute and a half, it just feels like it's taking forever because it's it's a tense situation, you know. Like, don't want to die. Got to do this within 30 minutes as well. Basically, you just want to get in, run, and let the uh, sentinels deal with the flood that were nipping at your heels. There'll also be a fair few flood, like actually a reasonably large group of them that come around that corner. Make sure that you do like clear out any flood that are behind you as well, because it can be dangerous. You know, if I had my say with like this next one, it would have just been four floor, my ticket out of here. <laughs> also, don't run straight ahead. There are several carriers, about four or five, all up, that I, if you aren't fully aware of them, like, they could put an end to your run just so easily. Actually, probably make that six carriers in total if my counting was right. Four around the door and two further up. This is an interesting area, this, because it seems to be one of the few areas where the flood Occasionally, when they hit the ground, they might just die as if their legs are broken and they can't go on. Or they're just like, oh god, it's the green guy, I'm calling it quits now, because I know what's going to happen to me. <laughs> for example, we're just waiting for an example, actually. Need one to drop down. Example. Oh, yeah, there, that one right ahead, hit the ground and just died. Like, oh, I'm fed up with this. But, uh, this is the only area it seems to actually happen in. I've never seen it happen in any of the other corridor, intersection corridor areas. It only seems to happen to the, uh, human combat forms as well. Uh, I've no I think I've seen it happen to uh yeah there's another one. Yeah I think I've seen it happen to like an elite combat form before, but I'm not entirely sure about it. Sort of areas. There's probably about five or six of them. That's four. Make sure that, like, if you are being tailed, make sure you do kill stuff, because chances are that it, they're so likely to be able to kill you still. If you get, you can't get complacent for one second. Like, for example, like, Grenades can send carriers at you, and it's like, come at me, carrier, and you're like, no thanks. Or the carrier's like, I'm coming at you, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're certainly not bros, though. And 
this is another um, timed area where Spark takes forever. And I was sort of wondering, it's like, because he was just sort of floating there above. And I'm sort of wondering, do, do I need to move ahead to like get him to hurry up? So I popped out and the, the flood saw me and it's like, oh well, this is on now, so let's kill them all. But you can hide there and stuff. But this this area seems a little, it's a lot less, like the flood are a lot less aggressive and there's a lot fewer of them compared to the first time to gate. There's actually a reasonable reasonable amount of health around here too, so if you are running low, there's some in that little trench there, there was somewhere I picked up earlier next to uh, where this flood was sitting. Also this is like if you keep running you can sort of get out before they start going crazy at you like they are now. You can also grenade jump through the uh, doorway, but the only problem with that is, since there'll be flood actually coming at you, and also flood coming through the gap in the doorway, it's a lot more riskier, so it's just best to wait it out. And either stay close to the doorway, or just like stay where I am now and grenade stuff is uh, coming at you. This is sort of like the home stretch now. As I said before, you still can't get complacent. Make sure practically everything that could pose a threat to you is dead. It's like, I was getting shot by the shotgun guy and he's already starting to really decimate my shields. There he goes. Anyway, this is just about it. Jump off to the index platform. And speed reader will pop in now. So yep, speed reader library, 30 minutes on legendary. But unfortunately, I ended the recording too soon. But don't worry, that just happened. Does unlock as well. So thanks for watching. The energy barrier surrounding the index. Will